Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a live stream for Ustream.tv and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. <laughs> I'm colouring in the Joanna Basford Magical Jungle and I want these are my Cotman watercolours and I've mixed my own colours from Lemon Yellow, Elysian Crimson and Selenium Blue but I now want to put my professional watercolours in here so I really want to use them up and I thought this book would lend itself to some really nice colours and I have just dropped my paintbrush on there so I'll just get that away I've got a bit of a piece of kitchen paper here um, photocopy paper um, I mean these are still lovely to colour with but I just wanted a little bit more and I must admit, I do like the uh, the colours now. So I'm just probably going to do this as flat colours without thinking. Now this is probably a lot wetter than I normally work. So I'll just put it there. Because it is a lot wetter than I normally work. So we'll just dry that brush and tee some of this colour out. Because they are still quite pigmented, even though these are student grade. These Cotman watercolours are really nice to work with. Uh, they they dilute into the most gorgeous colours, uh, so they're not to be sniffed at. And as I said, I think they were ninety nine p in our UK hobby craft. So three pounds to make all this colour was quite a bargain. Let me just see if I can get. All the light on that and so I'm just playing about with the color and uh, because I just cannot throw that color down the drain but I'm desperate to, <laughs> desperate to move it on now it's done its job I had a good play I found some really unusual colors French ultramarine is a pest to make it's very 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 difficult to get French ultramarine and so all of the gorgeous colours I used yesterday were difficult so that's taught me that I need six colours I need a French ultramarine I need a Selenium blue I need lemon yellow a cadmium yellow which is a warmer one and also Elysian crimson and cad red and from those six colours you can make any colour you want but I did want to try uh, because of the printer ink I got 600 colours from just those three and that was a good experiment but time wise mixing wise the French ultramarine is a colour not to be sniffed at I have to say because that's the that's the basis for the bright purples and it's not an easy colour I, I got some purples but I could not get French ultramarine um, so there comes a point where you have to admit defeat and and go for six colours but that should give you the basis for any other colours you want so, so the, the, but these just glide on these pages so nicely and they're very rich this is I think the original uh, is in crimson because it's I think it is oh no it's a light isn't this is the red orange so the red orange is the one I've made so I've made this color um, the red purple is the Elysian crimson which is the original uh, and this is very similar to the one that I made for the when I did the rabbits in the Imagimorphia. I used half cadmium red and half Elysian crimson, and I got a really nice red for all the death cap. I think they're called death cap mushrooms. And this is very similar. I think there's probably a little bit more red, pinky red in this one, a warmer red. It's not really a cad red isn't this one but 
I really like that colour, it's quite nice. So, have we... Have we broken... Have we got chat? Have I broken it? <laughs> so welcome to Bunny's Design. Um, just do this again. Just to see if I can reset it because I say for some reason chat doesn't like me. Maybe two seconds. I've got a paintbrush full of bro a paintbrush full of. Well, hopefully that should be working. So if anybody's got any questions, put them in caps. Oopsie. Oops, I've broken it again. Uh, but I really like this paper. It's quite nice. And again, it's a nice. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice way of working with this. I have to say. And I'm not thinking about shading or, um, in fact, this is actually quite quite damp. It's quite wet, is this? And uh, I'm not used to this. We'll keep going. I like to work a lot drier than that because you, you then know that your paint is going to completely flat. So I think that's because of the angle of this. Uh, I'll take... I need that one under there for that. I'll take another piece of paper to put under here so that I can have this in place I need to. I really want a lot of that colour off there, really. So I say, welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, Trying to get uh, some colour into here. And this is quite therapeutic, I have to say. There's no, even though I'm streaming, it's it's <laughs> so easy to get into the zone of just colouring in, which is really, really quite pleasant, I have to say. Um, and... Uh, there's a quite there is a lot of colour on here, even though these are say not as pigmented as as they need to be. There is a lot of colour on here. A lot of colour. Whoops, if I put that there, I might just be able to I'm really trying to keep this brush as dry as possible because um it ensures that your pages are flat. And I'm not using this as I normally do. I normally tease colour out and do all sorts of things. I'm literally just using all this colour as a flat colour. So there's no blending, there's no messing about with the, the paintbrush. It's just putting the colour on. And sometimes it's quite nice to work like this. You know, I would do this with a... Um, a felt pen and that you know you just get a felt pen and cover a pet color one petal in that color and I quite like that and you can be that little bit bold as well and normally I turn around a bit Only two seconds. I think I've broken chat again. <laughs> Only two seconds. Put that like that. It does something. I, I think it's the laptop. I bought a new laptop and it does the same thing. So I've got it on a setting that it doesn't like. So I've got another little laptop and that does the same thing. 
So it's obviously me and the setting, so I've got to sort that out. But uh, I do the same thing every week. I don't know why it just decides it doesn't want to work. So I really like those colours, actually. I really like the colours. So let's see if that's done any different. I'll go back to there. Probably. We'll have to see. Never mind. I quite like those colours. So if I've got another flower that looks similar, I'm going to do it the same colour, but we haven't. Oh, yes, we have. No, we haven't. So they could be tangerine colours. They're, they're um, I think they're pansies. So I may have pull up, pull up a colour for pansies, I think. That's going to be an orangey red. So I have an orangey red in here. So as I say, I'm not doing any colour mixing. Oops. I'm just really wanting these colours out of the way. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Oops. That was silly. Just dropped water on there everywhere. So I'm probably going to just go into this colour here. I've gone to a smaller brush. There's a bit too much water on there for me at the moment. I'm quite liking playing with smaller brushes. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, welcome Marilyn and Dorothy. I've missed anybody out. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a play with this baby down here. Um, so these colours, as I say, they're, they're, they were 99p. I bought three and I've made uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I think it's 20 colours on here, I think. And for three pounds, I thought that was good. So I'm just going to stroke the colour into here. I quite like working drier, I must admit. It's it's just an easy way for, for me to work. Um, and there's no reason why these colours shouldn't get lighter. Although, as I say, if I move that, you can see it, its pure colour is that my paintbrush is completely saturated with colour. So... Um, I mean, you could go over it if you wanted. I don't normally do that, but... And if you wanted to stroke into another colour, there's another orange there, you could make this colour go darker. That is a little bit wet for me, but I'm going that a little bit faster. Everybody can just chill at their own pace. And just keep that quite dry because we do need to keep the page a little bit dry because you know these are ordinary pages they'll, they'll buckle and we don't want them to buckle unless it doesn't bother you but I must admit if I've paid a few pounds for a book I'm a bit precious And because I've got three or four oranges on there, then I can actually use these to my advantage. Now, probably it goes darker to light from the inside out, but it's a colour book and I've done it the other way around. And where a photocopy, I would have done that and thought, oh no, actually, I want dark, dark to light rather than light to dark. So, again, I should practice what I preach. So thanks for joining me on this uh, blustery Thursday day and uh, still got some more uniforms to work for the weekend before we go to Destination Star Trek. So that should be good, hopefully. Try not to think that I'm 16 again, but it's a bit difficult. <laughs> this is a little bit wetter than I work, but this paper can actually take it. It's not so bad. Some pages you can just art instantly know that you can't do that with, and some you think will be fine. Um, I could have, I could have 
finish this page and um, then gone back in with a different colour if I want. But I'm just quite enjoying myself dipping into these colours. They're quite nice. Um, they're not going to look like a beautiful flower because they've gone from pale to dark very quickly. But again, it's just nice to play, stroke the colour in. And uh, I'm just quite enjoying myself. <laughs> you get in your own little world when you're doing this, I have to say. You definitely get into your own little world. I just can't for I just cannot throw this this paint away that's in this palette and I'm desperate to take this with me tomorrow but it's not looking that it's going to happen I don't think because there's tons and tons and tons of color in here so probably going to fill this book with these colors there's probably enough color in this palette to fill the to colour this entire book, I'm pretty sure there would be. It would be a good experiment, we'll have to see. So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. Oopsie. Sometimes your brush gets that little bit... Uh, that little bit but there's some different variation in there it's not it's not very different but it's a little bit different and that's quite nice because although I like the flat of the other one I do kind of, I've kind of got into the habit of making things not flat giving them a little bit of definition or shadow highlight and a low light um, quite like that idea but then this is actually the way I work in this book is again completely different than the work in the other books this one I can do in front of the TV because I'm not thinking about it the other ones I have I have a little bit more thought and again that's quite nice you know sometimes you want to concentrate sometimes you just want to color in and uh, again that's quite nice sometimes you want to make it your own sometimes you just want to colour a page because it's the act of actually stroking the colour in that's that's the nice bit for you whereas other times you might want to be a bit more artistic so I hope everybody's enjoying this uh, colouring session I mean, earlier I was think, talking about cheaper paints and pound shop paints but you know, three pounds for all this colour is going to be pretty good. And it's a nice way of working as well. You can you, you can either mix your own colours or just use them straight from the, the tube, which is, again, quite nice. And the little puppy is asleep, I think, underneath my feet. Don't know why I call him a puppy, bless him. He's, he's two. <laughs> the terrible twos. And that's not just the children. I quite like I quite like those cups. Can everybody see that okay? It does look quite a messy palette though. <laughs> it does look a messy palette. Um if I go around and get some really nice bright colours in there. Oops. And again, it's still drying quite nice and flat. So that's, again, that's quite nice. So we've got some other colours here. I'm not sure, I'll just do this brush out. Again, that's something that I don't normally do. So, uh, probably some deep purples would be quite nice down here, maybe. Um, let me have a look what we've got. Oh, some little blue ones might be good. Might have a look at those um, 
I'm just going to have a quick look at these. So, um, let me have a quick look for these and see what they look like. I can never remember the colours in them. Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I took my daughter to Bruce in the garden. So let me have a quick look. Um, let me have a look at the flowers in the garden. I've taken so many pictures of the abbey that the flowers have kind of gone further down there. Um, I always think I should sort out my <laughs> my photograph. So this I've just remembered. This is what I was going to do for Inktober. <laughs> I just remembered. There's the buddleias from my garden with the butterflies on them. So I was going to do all shrubs from my garden, and then when it came to Inktober, I completely forgot what I was going to do. I'll do that for next time. Flowers are probably going to be a lot easier for me. So these are my daughter's flowers. So if I look at this pansy, that's quite a nice one. So I could use that deep purple on that one. So that's what we'll do. We'll take... The brush isn't quite as good as the other one. When the brushes have gone, they go. <laughs> it doesn't take long. Um, so I think, as I said, I didn't, I didn't get a nice blue. So I won't have a nice purple, but it's a purple. Just practice on that. It's a purple. And so the pansy is, um, probably this is purple. Again, I didn't really want to get so hung up about it in this particular see that purple is quite dull and that's because I haven't got the French ultramarine and so if you want the bright purples but sometimes it's quite nice to get these colors it depends on what it's for it depends if you want to be more realistic but of course mother nature gives the most beautiful purple colors so um, I didn't want to really get hung up about that. <laughs> Again, on a, a what's it trail off. Um, and I'd like to, I would actually like to not do those in the middle there. So, as I say, welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm uh, watercolouring in, again, in another different way. This is just a bit what I would call slap, <laughs> slap dash. Just taking the colour as it is and not blending. I'm just trying to use all this colour up by colouring in. Um, having said that, this has actually gone paler because obviously I'm using my little rigger there. So you can get some difference if you want, but I quite like the fact that this is just colouring in. But I'm at a terrible angle to see what I'm doing. So. Um, but I really wanted to use these bright colours up so that I could take this with me away to Destination Star Trek wow <laughs> so, I hope everybody's well if you've got any questions pop them in caps it's just me colouring in um, I do quite like these I'm not sure what other colours I'm going to do, but um, I've got three purples, so I can play with all three purples, and I may as well do all the all of these the same. And again, it's just quite nice to stroke this colour in and, and and use it. And um. I'll have to disappear. Oh, sorry, dog alert. Dog alert. Oh, I will have to disappear about 11 o'clock. 
my little sandals now because my neighbour's away and I have to let the dog out. <laughs> and I forgot my daughter did it yesterday. And we're also looking after Grandma, who's 91. So my mum is 91. And I'm having to do her eyes five or six times a day. So it's, it's, it's a bit hectic for me. I normally just sit and paint all day. And I'm now responsible for dogs and things. It's a bit hectic for me. And my ugly, ugly, my husband and I, <laughs> we had an, our first adventure of Asda, although it's a really diddy tiny Asda, um, so there wasn't any wheelchairs, there, wasn't, there weren't any shopping trolleys for wheelchairs, so we had to have the pull-alongs. So my husband had two pull-along trolleys stuck on the back of the, <laughs> on the, back of the wheelchair. It was a disaster, I have to say. It was a disaster. Um, and he pushed me so far past things that I couldn't put my arm back to pick them up. <laughs> it was nearly divorced courts, nearly divorced courts. We, yeah, we, we didn't really have a laugh about it. So it's going to have to be a Sainz Bugs because they have the big... Um, I don't know if I want that purple there, but I'm going to pop it in there. It's slightly different, that purple. And if I just drop into some water, I can tease that colour out. That's given it a little bit of definition. That. Again, it's just nice to play. It's just nice to play and tease these colours out there. There's three, three purples, I think. There's three purples. Um, Again, working out a little bit wetter here, but this paper is very good. It just kind of lets itself be a little bit damper, so that's good. I was impressed with good paper when it's in a book. Oh, I'm quite liking these. They're completely different. Again, it's, it's very strange how different paints and different textures, different amounts of water makes you work in a completely different way um, this is a this is a traditional way of working there is all color in this paintbrush so it's a completely different way of working and um, luckily I think this paint paper and they're only small areas it is allowing me to do that so this is quite pleasant I have to say and once you've mixed your colors in your palette you just open it up spray a drop of water in fact I didn't spray water I just kind of dropped water into it uh, and the cotton ones they have got some pretty decent amount of pigment in them you know then they're, they're not kiddies paints they you know they, they do have quite a nice amount of pigment in them and that's why it's nice to work with nice paints you know it's you can work with pound shot ones which I did earlier but you, know, you work with what you've got and then you you decide if you like it if you like it, then you can ask for paints for presents and things, and then it doesn't cost you anything. It's a bit of a tight Yorkshire lass. Or I buy my own things and get my children to wrap them up for me. <laughs> yeah, that's naughty. I think I'm three birthdays and six Christmases ahead, but hey ho, never mind. So I'm quite, really quite enjoying working this way. And that's what it's all about. It's all about. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. I would say I'm really enjoying playing with these colours. And I'm basically just use, trying to use them up. So I'm not being precious. But um, again, it's it's a nice way of working. It's it, oops, that's that little bit too much. Uh, put a dry a dry brush into there. See that won't work because that brush has lost its it's lost its kind of togetherness, shall we say. Um, if we just tease that round and then take some of that colour off. Thank you. I like, I, I, but it's lovely just to sit and play. Um, it is quite pleasant, I have to say. I'm quite enjoying myself <laughs> sitting here using up paint. Um,
and I didn't I only found out by accident about paint I was putting the uh, Kiritaki Ganzai Tambi watercolour into my little book and how I did it I got a big fat paintbrush like that and I went into the into the, the uh, pan wet it got tons of colour and then daubed it on I think this is wet so I can't do it and I just kept tilting it squishing out as much colour daubing more and more so I've got some really fat puddles but I ended up with a paintbrush full of one colour now I've seen people just kind of do that in the washing brush and wash it out and I couldn't do that so what I did is I took a really ugly horrid pattern that I hated it was a colour book um, and they're not in here they're in this one which is called an avalanche is this the one? no that's not one either I can't, I can't get to it it's a bit far away um, but I, I used a colour book and I used patterns that I didn't like, like mandalas and, and things that I knew that I would never, never colour. And out of one paintbrush from 36 colours, because they're all in there, the whole 36 Ganzai Tambi watercolours, beautiful Japanese watercolours are in there. Out of there, I got 36, uh, I got 20 pages of colour. I, I coloured in 20 pages of very intricate um, mandalas and colouring pages and that water would have been just thrown away but the other thing it did is it taught me that there's about 30-40 colours out of one solid colour every time it went dry I dipped the end in so that I could reconstitute the paintbrush and I drew all the colour out of it until it was completely pale there was nothing and I did 20 pages so when you're doing your colour swatches if you just rinse your paintbrush out you're wasting a lot of a lot and lot of paint and again that happened by accident I found that out purely by accident I was as I say trying to put those into the mandala um, and that's sometimes how you see how how you find things out you know it's just a, an accident that way so I haven't got many greens so I might not actually do any greens on this one I might just do oranges and things. So I'm going to use go back into this orange here. So that was another bit of a a, a triple <laughs> a triple paint. I like these. These are yellows and lemons. So I haven't got a lot of yellows because I've used the greens. So I'm going to just tease that colour in there and turn the book round because it's easier for me. And that's dried now, so again, that wasn't too wet, that was good. And tease a smidgen of colour into here. And I'm also working quite a lot looser as well. I think the, the Kirby Roseanne and the um, Colin Dexter um, paint, uh, water, um, books, because they're kind of detailed, you're kind of a bit precious with them whereas if something like this it's just a pattern it's a floral design it's a lot bigger you can kind of just have that little bit of chill moment this is this is just purely coloring in I'm going into that orange because I want that to naturally go red because these are really dark red I think and these are the ones that go in Tenerife these these uh, oh, I, I nearly said the word then it's gone it's their national flower, isn't it? I think. I've forgotten now. I've had a sleep since the brain's worked. <laughs> it doesn't always work. Um, but again, this is what I would class as just picking up a felt pen and colouring. Except for I can't get tops on felt pens. So, as I say, welcome to Bunny's Designs. It's a live stream live peoples and I haven't broken chat <laughs> yet so it's early and um, I'm just wanting to use up my colours from this this palette um, and tight Yorkshire lass just can't bear to throw it away 
So I'm having a play in the um, in the is it Julia? My brain's gone. Joanna Basford Magical Jungle. And I'm just quite enjoying myself having a bit of a play. knowing that I'm using up this colour instead of just washing it down the drain because I don't really think I could do that <laughs> honestly don't think I could do that so we're desperately trying just to colour in flat colour and that's probably like having three or four different felt pens I think So this is a live stream for Ustream.tv and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. Oopsie, I've gone out the line there. I'm just at a very, very odd angle there. If my if, if I'm not comfortable, I do, I do make mistakes, I have to say. Um, but I can always go over the background with some green if I want to. Put a nice background in. And that would use up some paint. <laughs> I have to do it quite dry though, because although I'm working a lot wetter than I normally do, um, this paper is not watercolour paper. It's good quality, but it's not watercolour paper. Um, so I wouldn't get such a... I wouldn't get such a... I think this is the original. I think this might be the original colour, actually. But it's quite nice just to play with colour. It is quite quite therapeutic so I could do that green or I could do that a completely different colour I think I might do that yellow actually I'm thinking about it I'm just in that mood and again I don't really want to be bogged down with colour I just want to uh, kind of chill out and just think That's how things are. So, um, I just colour the large flowers in first. And I just put this in here, I think. Cause I did quite like these two colours together, so. And that's just that little bit. It's that single cream thing now. That I normally do single cream, but this is a little bit. Uh, needs to be just that little bit wetter, just that touch wetter than that. And then the paint just slides, glides straight off the paintbrush, just like a felt pen. It feels like a felt pen. You just don't have to struggle with all the tops. And and that's why I invented this way of dry working because it's for people that can't take pen tops off every five minutes. <laughs> so I said I'm, I'm quite enjoying myself now. There's only one of those, so I'm going to finish that colour off there. And I am wasting colour, you see, there's a complete difference to what I do with a Kirby. Completely different. Um, there is colour going in the drain, but not a lot. <laughs> um, I think I might I quite fancy the blue one here. I think it's going to be a bit... Or maybe... I don't know, I quite like the blue on this one. I might do blue on here. These look quite nice. And all this is dry, so I can actually put my hand on it. So that's quite nice. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get into these little white stamens. So, again, that might, I might 
have to put that a darker colour and see how we get. And this is going to take uh, a while to do these flowers, but again, it's just colouring in, just stroking the colour in. Um, but it's uh, it is very therapeutic, I have to say. <laughs> Go away, fly. Thank you. And I do like the idea um, that there's no hair dryer. I used to use, well, I haven't got a, a thingy dryer, but I like the idea that as soon as I've done it, it's dry. That is a little bit to do with light, because these light, I've got six lights on, but also it's just nice that there's no noise. There isn't. Um, there's just no noise and that's just really nice. I must be getting an old fuddy-duddy because I can't do with noise. And uh, again, not thinking about colour. We don't really have blue flowers. This, but I really like doing that. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Thanks for stopping in and having a natter. It is a bit early over here today, um, but I wasn't sure. Um, I usually do two Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I wasn't sure if uh, there's another stream on later, so I thought I'd do this. And um, I'll I'll do f I'll finish this a little bit, and then I'll go to. Uh, I'll let, I have to let the dogs out. The dog out next week. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but hey ho. And give Grandma a cup of tea. I've put the Alaskan bears on Ustream for it in the <laughs> in the other room. So she's watching the bears, but she lives on her own, so she's normally on her own. In fact, I would think it'd be quite nice to have some peace and quiet. Um, Three dogs trotting around and the cat. Which I quite enjoy myself. So I hope you don't think this is boring as <laughs> watching paint dry because that's what's happening. Can you see that's it's a little bit wetter, so I can't touch that. Not like I normally work. It's, this is a little bit wetter, but this is quite a nice paper. And I'm quite enjoying the fact that. I'm working different ways with different mediums in different books because I thought I can't just work the same way in the same book. So that was my other thought as well. So that's quite pleasant. Oops, I thought that went across there. It didn't. Can't see so much of it. Um, and I have a confession to make about Inktober. I got into bed about half past nine yesterday. It was really early. For me, I'll go to bed about one or two, and completely forgot about it. It up. I was so exhausted, and unfortunately, sometimes when I've taken painkillers and things, uh, the memory is not what it should be. So, I didn't do my Inktober yesterday, and as a penance, I'm going to do a live one today. When I've done this, I'll come back and I'm going to do a live one. And then you can see just how bad I have a drop. <laughs> because I was I was so exhausted and I thought, I just cannot physically get myself out of bed. I go downstairs and sketch. So, and that's because I went into three shops for three things yesterday. But never mind. to go out sometimes and I just this is all I do all day every day in and out just painting just faffing about and uh, I'm spoiled rotten I have to say really enjoying this <laughs> really just like really enjoying just colouring in this is really this is what it should be I think this is 
this is how it should be it's just you your colors and your book and a pot of tea and possibly the radio on i do like the radio um, I can't watch TV when I'm colouring in, but I do like, on Radio 4 they have afternoon plays, and really, really, that is my perfect afternoon. <laughs> I am turning into my grandmother. So, a bit of a mishmash of colours, but again, a completely different way of working. It's, it's the, the paints are actually teaching me a different way. Um, so I hope that's okay. So thanks everybody for popping in. Um, if I lift that up very carefully. You can see all the colours that I'm doing. And I actually quite like the flat colours, so I probably may go over that one. To see what time we've got. So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in the cap. I quite like those. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the ones underneath, but it's, it's it's again it's a completely different way of working. So I've used those colours there, um, and the greens that I'm using up, and then of course some brighter colours. So again, that's taught me a different way of working. But I do actually quite like these uh, these bright colours. And again, the purple is is not the right purple because you don't have the French ultramarines, so they're dull purples, but again, they're quite nice, quite nice to work with. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that um, when I finished the live stream. And again, I love my little water pots. I love my water pots. And then I can just shut. This is a stay wet palette, and you can shut that up, um, and hopefully things won't leak out too much and um, yes I think I can I think I can get some quite nice oops, quite nice things in there from that so I do like this book it's a lovely book and the pages are really nice and they're just off-white as well which is quite nice so I've made a bit of a start and again I don't normally work this way either, flicking through different pages and starting different pages. Um, I don't normally work that way, but because I want rid of the paints, that's kind of lent itself to do that. Um, but I really like the, the pastels again. That, that's a, I am, Once these paints have gone, the pastels will be coming out. Um, I will be putting these on Tuesday. I will be putting these into my little book of watercolours because I was just... Again, amazed that I can get the Derwent Rexel watercolour pencils into my little book of watercolours. And so there is another 36, but they are pastels and they're the portrait set. So they're really unusual colours. Again, that I don't even have to mix. I've got another 36. <laughs> so I hate to think how many I've got now. Um, so those will be going into my little book of colours. And when I made the little paper palette, in our little book at the moment, we've got that to one side. So in our little book of watercolours, we've got, uh, I think there's 19, Dr. Martin's Hydras, and they are labelled. <laughs> there's the Peerless, I think there's 45 all the little colour swatches and then I started to put in um, the graphite tint, the Derwent graphite tint and then because I was playing with the pencils and seeing what I could get in and what I could use I bet I can't put my hand on it now um, and this is my original one that's kind of really grotty now and this is the paper um, with the watercolours on them. This is my design. And this is the really thin layout paper. 
which is like the Bible paper, the Bible journal paper. Um, and that's how I learnt to watercolour on a napkin. Um, so I made this little paper palette and I was playing with the pencils to see what happens. And if you take the past, the pestle, there, are, there isn't a lot of colour in there, but it is a little square. If you take the pestle, that's a bit wet actually, but if you take the pastel, which is that pencil, pastel pencil dough and just scribbled on there, you can colour in with it. That's a bit too much water on there. But that is really pale. There's another one. I think it's the wrong brush actually sometimes. You need a damp brush to activate the colour and then you can colour in. I mean these are really pastel pale colours. They are really pale. I think you can see that there are things. I'm not getting enough water on my brush. You do need a fair amount on there. I think this was the brown. That's slightly better, you can see. But again, because they are pa pastel colours, they're really pale. Um, and again, playing about with the colour. I think the, the, the lemon is the pastel as well. you've got a lemon colour but if you wanted some very very beautiful pastel colours pastel shades it would be quite nice to do that um, rather than having the the gorgeous um, Caran d'Ache talking about the Caran d'Ache I found this Ryman popper wallet and how about that for perfect You've got the two yellows, the two blues, and the two reds, and a water brush. And that sits in there. And I thought that was pretty cool. Because that would go in your mini Firefax. And you've got your colours in there. I thought it was quite cool, that. So that's another way of, of, being, of taking the crayons out with you if you wanted to. Um, so I was quite, quite impressed with that, I have to say. I like the fact I can get pastel pencils in there because I can't use the pastel pencils. It's impossible for me to use them. Um, so I'm really going to enjoy watching um, colouring in that and using all my colours out of my little pa palette. Um, so thank you for watching. <laughs>